Good luck to the dogs tomorrow. Now Finley off to a bit of a rougher start, losing their first two games, both in overtime before getting their first win last week. But as BCSN's Zach Herrig shows us, for one family, no matter what the scoreboard says, the Trojans are winners each and every week. Meet eight-year-old Talon Orton. He suffers from cerebral palsy, which affects his motor skills, but he loves the game of football. Talon was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when he was six. Um, he's a very mild case. Um, you can't really tell by just looking at him. Um, he decided he wanted to play football this year. He had played flag football previously. Unfortunately, Talon was a victim of bullying on his youth football team, and it made him want to quit football altogether. He left practice hysterically crying, just saying that he hated football. Um, that wasn't him. Talon loves football. That's when the Finley High School football team stepped in. My wife actually brought it to me. Uh, she saw the message that her, his mom put on Facebook. Uh, she was like, I, I hope this isn't right. So she contacted her, found out that, yeah, it did happen. Um, so my wife let me know, and we kind of came up with a plan together to kind of surprise him. A few Trojan football players visited Talon at his school during lunch and asked him to be their guest on the sidelines for every home game this season. It was a moment he'll never forget. Want to come hang with us on game days? Yeah! Yeah. It, it was pretty cool, you know, I think overwhelmed at first, uh, um, you know, just that sheer joy and everything. And uh, it was also great too to, you know, our, our players are good kids and they do things like this all the time that maybe don't end up on TV like this has done. And uh, you know, it's cer certainly shown a light on the type of kids that we have. It felt awesome. It was the best day of my life and it, I got surprised. Uh, to me, that's what the game's all about. Just being able to you know, brighten a kid's day and just everyone should be able to love the game and just do what they love. And he, that's, that's all he wanted to do. It's like a one in a lifetime thing. It's, it was great. It was great to see him so happy, so excited. And it just felt good to make a difference. It just made me smile to see him so happy, you know, to see him not be that kid that got bullied, but him accepting it, being happy, ready to come out and join our team. And during the Trojans' first home game of the season, look who led the team out of the tunnel. It was cool. I was fast. I was crying <laughs> a lot. Um, he was very excited. You could just see in his face. Um, shortly after he ran out, the whole student section was screaming his name. So that in turn just made him feel awesome. And he just can't stop talking about it. Uh, it's really, it's just kind of showed all of us what the game just means to all of us and gives us, you know, reason to push it a little harder out there because we know he's on the sidelines watching us and, you know, we're the, we're the varsity guys. He's kind of looking up to us and that's just kind of gives us a little more edge. I, I talked to our kids you know, the beginning of this week that I've received messages from California, from Alaska, from Canada, uh, from Missouri, from Florida, from people that have seen or, or caught wind of this and just how uplifting it's been, how, uh, how proud it's made him feel. The next Trojan home game is September 28th against Clay and you know Talon will be right there with the team. As for his future plans in football, he wants to play quarterback and take Tanner Rickles' job. Reporting from Finley, I'm Zach Herring for BCS.